Hello, Greg Veach here again. Today we're going to learn about the LiveScribe desktop and how to play your notes on your computer. Remember, you can start your LiveScribe program by just putting your pen on the dock or finding the desktop shortcut, looking in your menu, or going to All Programs, LiveScribe, and then the icon for the desktop. You'll hear the sound, the program opens, your pen is recognized, it's detected, and then if you have new notes like I did for you, it says transferring the content for the smart pen and then its name. For me, Veach Smart Pen 2 gigabytes. Very shortly, I believe on page 40, we will see my notes pop onto my screen. While that's happening, remember you have your library on the desktop. That's all the books that you're using. When a book is highlighted, its note pages will show up. And you may use the play button to listen to your notes. You may use the enlarge button to take a closer look at your notes. You can look at a single page at a time. You can go from one page to the other, all the way to the end of your notes to the beginning, or one page at a time scrolling through your list. Okay, with that in mind, we'll look now at the note page that just was sent up on page 22. I want to see it, I double click it. If I'd like to get a closer look at the page, we can just hit the plus side of our magnifying glass. All right. If you just want to play it, come over to play, hit the play button, or touch on the text. All right. I have some recorded notes for demonstration. If I zoom in on that nice and close, move around the page, you'll see that they are animated, and you will hear what was being said when I wrote them. Okay. We can also search on the page for given words. Let's take a look a little bit further out at the page. These are the notes that were uploaded from your pen. In the search window, I'm going to go up here and search for the word um, notes, N-O-T-E-S. The desktop will recognize your handwriting in cursive or in print. I come up here to notes, I hit my enter key, and you'll notice everywhere the word notes show up in your books are going to be highlighted. Over here on the side I have a starter notebook. I come down a little further, there's a one subject notebook in my library, a tutorial, and a one subject notebook number three, which is the one I'm working on now. It's found the word notes, it's highlighted in yellow. If we look closely on my page and we zoom in a little bit on that, you'll see the word notes is highlighted. A great study tool for anyone trying to find a certain kind of thing to study. That's how you navigate through your notes. One last thing, to move on from page to page, you can use your arrow keys forward and back page by page. That's the navigation. Don't forget, you can go backward with the backward arrow key in small increments or forward in small increments. These buttons over here are for bookmarks if you have bookmarked in your original note page. We'll see you next time.